But how can we change these limiting belief systems if they are really imprinted into the unconscious mind? Well, the, the, that is a true story, Panos, that the um, uh, programming that we get as children, even before we're born, we have programming from the mother. Uh, and then we're programmed for the first seven years of our lives. Uh, this is a part of nature's design. Because uh, the thing is, how many things must a child learn to become a member of a family and a member of a community? How many understandings must a child learn? And you say, thousands. I said, well, how can you teach an infant thousands of things? And the answer is, the brain of an infant for the first seven years is designed to be in a state of hypnosis. The child sees and then just downloads into the subconscious programming. So it watches the mother, it watches the father, it watches what's going on in the world around. And by just watching, it learns how to behave. You say, well, I have two minds. I have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. The conscious mind is the creative mind. The conscious mind is the one related to your spirit, who you are. The conscious mind has your wishes and your desires. But the subconscious mind has programs just like a recording device. And you say, well, okay, I'm going to live my life with my conscious mind, my wishes, my what I want. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I, I want to have great relationships. He said, yes, that's the conscious mind. And then I say, well, there's one problem. <laughs> and the problem is the conscious mind can think. Issue is when you're thinking, you're not paying attention to what's going on. Your mind is like in your head now, thinking. Well, that doesn't mean just because you're thinking, you stop what you do. The moment you're thinking, the default switch, the behavior is now controlled by the subconscious. So the subconscious takes over. Well, the problem is that we now know from neuroscience that 95% of our life is not coming from the conscious wishes and desires that we want. It comes from the programs that we got because it now turns out 95% of the day we're thinking. Well, that means if you're thinking, and that, then automatically it means 95% of your life is not coming from your thinking conscious mind, it's coming from the program. So the issue is, the lives that we live are not the lives that we wish, it's the lives that we've been programmed to live. And, and so you say, well, what can I do about it? I say, well, stay conscious. And I say, well, this is very hard because that, there's a word called mindfulness. And that's a practice that people do, being mindful, meaning what? Don't go into thinking. Well, it's very hard in our world. It's very difficult for any person to, to live that way. But there's one time in your life where you become mindful without even knowing it. And I say, well, that time is when you fall in love with somebody. Because when you fall in love, the person that you love is in front of your face, so your mind doesn't go into thinking. Your mind stays, look at my love, look at my life. And so, very interesting, when people fall in love, their lives are very, very different than they were just before they fell in love. Life is so beautiful. They, they, it's, for them, it's heaven. Because it's the one time where you're not playing the programs that you got from other people. It's the one time you play your wishes, your desires. What do you want? And all of a sudden, guess what? When you're creating from your conscious mind, you create your wishes and your desires. Unfortunately, <laughs> the honeymoon doesn't last, that period where you fall in love and life is so beautiful. And that's because even though you're in love, life is still busy. The moment you start thinking, you are not you anymore. You are now playing the program. And most of these programs, they, they say 70% or more of the programs that we get as children are not empowering, they're, they're limiting, they take away our power. And so as a result, the moment we start thinking is the moment we shift into the negative programs. And this is why the honeymoon doesn't last for a lot of people. But there's a simple answer and a solution. We can change the programs in the subconscious mind. We can rewrite them. And when you rewrite the program, you become the programmer for your life. And when you do that, you can create a program that gives you heaven on earth every day of your life for as long as you live. And that's what the story in the book is all about. It's about how to create that honeymoon experience and to understand how we can create a, an experience that lasts our whole life. And it's based on science. <laughs>